A pathologist who carried out the post-mortem examination on the body of a 23-year-old who died five days after receiving a COVID-19 vaccine has told the inquest into his death that the case is baffling. Dr. Margot Bolster told the coroner that a causal link to the Janssen vaccine can't be established or ruled out. After three days of evidence, the Butler family left Cork City Coroner's Court today, a verdict due within a fortnight. Barry is my brother. He's a, a loving son. I live for his family and friends. He left a lasting impression on anybody he met. Earlier, assistant state pathologist Dr. Margot Bolster, who carried out the post-mortem examination on the body of 23-year-old Roy Butler, described the case as baffling. She said the 23-year-old died of a spontaneous intracranial hemorrhage. She said she had carried out over 20,000 post-mortems, but has never come across a young person dying in this way, where an explanation couldn't be furnished. She told coroner Philip Common a causal link to the vaccine can't be established, or ruled out. CUH consultant neuropathologist Dr. Neil Birmingham said no pre-existing conditions were found on examining Mr. Butler's brain. She described it as an unusual case, adding that she couldn't recall, in her experience, another case of an unexplained hemorrhage in a young man. In a closing submission to the court, Gil Davin, the elder of the Butler family, said Roy Butler's death was caused by the vaccine, and she said the most appropriate verdict in the case is one of medical misadventure. However, John Lucy, SC for Johnson & Johnson, said while Mr. Butler's death was a shocking tragedy, he emphasised that the facts were that there was no medical evidence linking the vaccine with Mr. Butler's death, saying a narrative verdict was the only appropriate verdict in the case. Coroner Philip Cummins said the testimony over the past three days was complicated and moving. He said he would email his verdict to the relevant parties over the next fortnight, and he extended his deepest condolences to the Butler family on their tragic loss in difficult and unexpected circumstances. Jenny O'Sullivan, RTE News, Cork City Coroner's Court.